Well, welcome back to BRS here on August the 29th on a Tuesday. And uh, I was going to try to video uh, a friend of ours after I did his Zetter headliner dug out some one, two, three blocks. Now, these been set in 30 something years, he claims, and I have no doubt. And uh, the video didn't take, they were really pitted and uh, kind of rusty. But these are, you know, right now I'm asking for some help because these holes that are threaded are three eighths and they're 18 thread. Now I have tried to find out if these are brown sharp, which they always used uh, 16 thread and then also uh, steric, but they're three eighths holes, 18. And uh, yeah, they look a lot better than when I got them. But uh, you know what? I am so proud to have these because it was a nice gift, same here. And they're ringing together on these faces and here together, but we're not perfect because I've got some more lapping to do, like right in there. You know, I don't have a high end, uh, you know, uh, plate. I'm using, uh, you know, what I've got here, which is, uh, you know, quartz. It's flat as a pancake on this little uh, 14 by 14, but it's not perfect. No, it's not a, uh, you know, granite plate but they uh, started ringing together yesterday and uh, then the video didn't upload to uh, YouTube. So today I'm gonna go back through these real quick using, uh, I've already come in here with uh, 1000 grit. This, this here is 1500. Using a real nice clean distilled water very little vinegar, but I'm having a problem of them ringing together with this Shars block, and it could be the Shars block's bad. Now the Shars two blocks uh, that I own, they ring together all all sides. So let's put this aside and let's do a little figure eight. Reverse. Yes, I spent a couple of, I ain't gonna say how long because I should have been doing other things. Well, I'm gonna set this down a minute. Terry cloths are over there on the side. Now then, got pitting way out here on the outside. Don't have any drop or dings, but uh, I'm gonna call that, and then I'm gonna flip this to this side right here where we still, by the eye, I could run a you know, surface gauge across this and I don't have a really high end one. I've got a uh, Mitsutoy and a Steric. For a hobbyist, that's a plus. Let's say it's 1500 grit. It's already been done with 1000, 800, 1000. That's a boo boo. You know, I can see right here at one point, right in here, cock this up a little bit, right in here. It almost looks like somebody has engraved a name. That's not a good sign. Maybe that's a big problem. 
And I don't have a surface uh, grinder and I can't afford to send them out. But let's do this again on the opposite side, on the long three inch side, just to make sure everything is good. These were ringing together really well. Good old 3M wet soluble sandpaper at 1500 grit. Yes, I will air blow these out. But it took a while to clean all the holes where they run freely and uh, all the threads. But uh, again, I'm needing some help. You guys taking a look at this video. What manufacturer used a 3 8 18 thread? I could buy a set of more of Shars that had all these in, and I think there are like uh, 20, uh, quarter 20. I'm gonna set this one over, it's done. Let's put a little bit more water on her. I'm really not so concerned with the, these sides because they were ringing together really nice. Very, very little thin uh, gun oil and wipe clean. This is gonna be a booger without sending them out to a surface grinder. And maybe these end up being used uh, more as for embers perfections, maybe around my welding table but it was nice to be given to him by Mr. Pepper, our wonderful neighbor. And we did that headliner, if you're watching our channel, and saved a headliner that he knows and I know that it took a lot of effort to save it. Well, you know what, it is cutting good, slapping good. Let's do this in. Well, we'll get over here on this side, get away from where I just tipped over a little bit. Minimum light pressure. By the naked eye and the camera, it is taking it down. Now, how many Tense, we're taking it down. Let's get this paper out of here. Let's put a new sheet on. Running a little bit slack because I don't really have time to go down to the supply house and pick up more 1500. Yeah, quartz is not the best in the world. One day, one of the uh, YouTube creators say, hey, you check out the YouTube channel for a uh, class A or B, you know, table. Now, here's the link, I sure would appreciate it. Let's do this one. Now I'm working with a quarter sheet now. be rather having uh, to go down to the supply house, which is about uh, 50 miles away down in Fort Worth. And I have some 2000, but right now we still haven't got all the blemishes out or lapping done. I can see a spot right there that could be a culprit. Let's give her another whirl. 
do the figure eight. Traverse it. This is all just for hobbyists. You know, we're fixing to go over some really good creators that uh, go through these that are way beyond my skills. Not only making one, two, three blocks and angled blocks and all, and we'll go over their names. Well, she's getting really good. It's still got that one spot. All right, that is set aside. The Shars block was not mating 100% to these. So we're gonna take the Shars block, and make sure there's just no grit, there's no debris. Now I have a pair of these shards blocks. They ring together perfectly. Are they parallel and symmetrical? Well, with what little bit of instrumentation I have here and depending on a non-perfect service plate, I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's put a new piece down. Let's wipe the service plate. I hope I'm not boring anybody, but uh, I would like to have more skills that Tom uh, over at uh, Lipton, over at uh, Knox uh, Machining, and uh, Chuck over at Outside Screwball, and Stan over at Bar Z, they just floor me. You know, I'm almost 70 years old, I should be fishing, and maybe traveling and not worrying about being, as a hobbyist, perfect. Life is not perfect. This one, since new, they've been oiled and oil, but we have so much humidity here, it's unreal. And I constantly oil the equipment, the machines, the Joe blocks, you know, it just goes on and on. We have been under 90% humidity most of the summer here in Texas, and it really hurts. I run the air conditioner as much as I can. I'm actually happy with that. It, it took, uh, there was a little right in here, blemish. All right, one last time <coughs> on its end. If you're like me and you're just starting out, I've only been in entertaining machine work and machining <coughs> since 19, and it's a learning curve. But we have so many great creators out there to learn from. I mean, you know, I'm gonna put down in the description links to the ones I just talked about. I could put hundreds down there that address one, two, three blocks, V blocks, you know, <coughs> they're way beyond my schooling. Let's get rid of that paper. Let's wipe this table down. You know, for what I give for this piece, it was only 40 bucks. And it's not its not a, a service plate to say, but I have spun a precision ground <coughs> straight edge over it, and she 
absolutely high out here. High out here on this corner, high here, low here, but in this area is really flat. So go to your local quarry and uh, cabinet shop. You can get by. Now, I'm going to use the S gun oil. It's very light. I'm going to put a drop here. We'll take off almost all the oil. Tiny drop, fingers are clean. I don't think I'm very clean on this side. Overnight, the shop out here, we've got to address this charge block. I'm gonna leave this side alone, because I know off camera, I've got some yellowing and that's not good. I should probably uh, fast forward this, but you know what? For a hobbyist, you know, you don't have to stop and rewind and all that. Let's set this over here. Very little drop on the finger. Let's all this block just slightly. Do I have grit on my fingers? I would hope not. I had just got through uh, washing them thoroughly. Probably old skin under me. Let's see if now that the older block that I just got then these we've wiped off some. New towel. We'll ring together. Okay. Yesterday it would not ring together. This is a side that's bad. There ain't no chance in the world that that, uh, it's not bad, but it's got rust. Yeah, made a fool out of me, but it does have to be taken off. Let's lay her on its side. Let's wipe off a little bit of the, I think there's way too much oil. It just needs a film, film. Now we're, we're Comparing these to a Char's block. Happy there. 180. Happy there. Happy here. Oh! Okay. Don't have much blemish on the Char's block. I got a spot right there. That means I'm gonna have to re, uh, you know, do this one here, relap it, take that out right there. I'm gonna set this one over the side with that up. So I know that's gonna be redone. Here's the other block. Again, I'm gonna take off so there's no excess of oil. See if they'll ring together. Well, we have got moisture under here. Like it. Good endo. No. There is a need to re uh, do this one here and right there. 
those two right there is gonna be give me fits. I'm gonna put this away, the shards block. I'm gonna ring these together now. These are the ones that Mr. Pepper gave me. 180. Holding good. 180. Rung together. Holding good. 180. Right there where somebody has either written or put their name in, they could have used an acid pencil. That has got to be redone as well. Let's lay them on the side. Good. 180. Good, 180. That rung together really well. 180 with the top one. Happy. I'm not real for sure what edged this in to this block, but for a hobbyist shop, it is almost like I can still read Rob right across here. Now, I don't believe it's engraved. I think he put his name on there and whatever, Sharpie or whatever, it had enough acid, it ate in. So this is gonna have to be lapped. And uh, let me wipe my fingers off here a minute. Get the camera up here. Okay, this is gonna be in the description down below. And uh, this is a uh, few videos. I mean, there's hundreds that deal with one, two, three blocks. And for us hobbyists. And uh, waiting on uh, maybe Harold or uh, over there at uh, Knox Machini, Mark to give me, uh, you know, Billy, Billy, sorry, sorry, Billy. Uh, some comments on one, two, threes. And then also I've got to get to uh, fabricate those screws that are in and uh, they pass through the threads so that when you run through, it'll spin. And I learned that uh, very quickly from uh, Tom Lipton over there at Ox Machining. You know, I've been subscribing to all these guys for since 2018, 19, but until you own some of these and you say, well, man, I really like to assemble these together. Uh, you know, you have to go and research the good creators that can teach us. And uh, I like what Chuck did with his little apparatus that went through and threw a piece of stem and threaded, but I, I need to pay a little bit more attention to uh, not only Stan over at Bar Z, but also uh, Tom Lipton over at Ox. Do I have the talent to make my own blocks Probably not, got the equipment, but I may end up buying some uh, knockoffs just so I can uh, have uh, you know some more blocks around here. Uh, anyhow, this is a real quick shout out to Chuck Barbarina over at Outside Screwball, uh, Stan at Bar Z Industry, and Tom Lipton over at uh, Ox Tools, Ron Zetti over at uh, Rob's, R-O-B-E-N-Z, Rob Benz, uh, you know, he's way beyond me. And uh, he was setting up and showing all about his surface uh, grinder the other day. And I can't get away from the videos. I mean, it was 45 minutes long and I had to do it and I backed up and uh, the guys are working in, you know, uh, microns, you know, not uh, tents. They're working in just baby hair type, uh, you know, environments and uh, precision, precision, precision. Uh, there's a lot more creators out there and, uh, you know, with assemblies and stuff. Also like to 
follow uh, old uh, Kurt over at CCE over in Australia, uh, Maddie's workshop, uh, Tom, uh, or excuse me, John over John's workshop, and uh, all those guys. And uh, I'm going to be researching more and more about one, two, three blocks and uh, uh, angle plates, how to make them here in the shop. And because I am, yeah, hobbyists. Hobbyists don't need, you know, stuff to build rocket ships or uh, Tesla cars with. We need to just have practical tools. You know, I've got some tools here that my son says, man, dad, where'd you collect these from? I said, well, I know one thing. Starrett has my address and so does Brown and Sharp because every time I hit e eBay, they're on my front door. Uh, I'm proud of Starrett, you know, equipment, kind of like Pete uh, 222, Tubal Cane. He is a steric guy and uh, brown and sharp as well. But I have a lot of Pexto around here, brown and sharp, steric. Uh, I've got some Helio uh, between one and 12 millimeter micrometers, I mean, excuse me, mics that I bought. And uh, just proud to have them in the shop. And uh, this is just a shout out uh, to those creators that show us obvious how to uh, actually use the one, two, three blocks, but how to join them together. And uh, Sammy's saying, get her done. And uh, that's what we plan on doing. We're gonna try to stay here in the shop. It's gonna be tough, but uh, you know, if I move off, it's gonna cost a lot more to move off and rebuild. And I think I'm just gonna, you know, try to rent out the house and live in the shop, like I said in a couple of videos as soon as I can afford to uh, turn in three rooms in the shop back here that's useless into a living quarters. Now, will I ever get any girlfriends? Ain't nobody gonna wanna live in the shop. And that's a good thing because then I can still be uh, an honorary old uh, geezer and uh, enjoy my shop. And uh, you guys come back. Please follow uh, Joe Pye over there on that uh, little Shaper Bill too, and Rusty Knox. You know, he went through a bunch of things on uh, Scraper Setup the other day that I I couldn't uh, get away from that thing because didn't know uh, I own a Shaper. It's not done yet, but uh, you guys follow them. I'll try to put some links down below. Yeah, a few of my favorites. I've got 250 something subscribers I subscribe to. They're all good. So Bears Rod Shop, we're out of here for August the 29th on a Tuesday. And please subscribe, hit that like button, hit that thumbs up, and we would appreciate it. And thanks again for all the shout outs to Sammy, the wonderful bride. She is still in here and still rooting everybody on, and she always will be. Come back and visit. We're out here for Tuesday, uh, the 29th of August, Bears Road Shop.